Hey everyone, Chitav Hadens here, and this is a long-awaited video. It only took me six months to get it off the page, or four months if you consider when I posted the technical comparison between all single-focus solutions as the last video of 2016. It took a lot of effort and planning, and to begin with, I would like to thank the incredible team of people that gave up on their last weekend of vacation to go up north and film this with us, with us, with me. Thank you guys. These people are Tavia Servi and Ben Clay as my stars, Renata Battistini, who was handling the camera, Keaton House, who was keeping track of my notes and handling the camera for some of the shots, uh, Tyler Gilbert, responsible for production audio and finding us all of the locations, and Natalia Peixoto for the blood makeup. I'd like to give a special thanks to Ariana Sadat, who helped me greatly during pre-production and was there all day with us and then gave me great feedback afterwards. Again, just as I did an in intruder, I was swapping taking lenses and anamorphics for each and every shot. And as opposed to that time, I feel that the differences between each setup are more easily noticeable. If I am to break down exactly what draws attention to each of them, the FM lens vignettes more easily when the taking lens is wider, like a 50 millimeters, and is top down, like at f8 but vignetting is a lot better when the taking lens is wide open. Like at f2, I had very little traces of vignette. The rangefinder always has the blue flare, th that blue blob, and shows a lot of light streaking at faster apertures, while the Rectilux plays mostly unnoticed. Planning and testing the gear was key for staying sane and making sure I was getting all the shots that I needed. I had three Koa's B and H, all each one set up with a different single focus solution, and then mounted on rails so I could easily swap both the anamorphic and the taking lens without having to realign for every shot, and that saved me a great deal of time. I also had detailed storyboards with notes for which combo should be used in each shot, and all of this control and like preparation allowed us to nail this whole thing in like seven hours of shooting, including a company move, rehearsals, eating, and a little break. For shooting, the camera I used was the Sony a7S II. We shot it at 4K, and that gave me a ton of rolling shutter that I never noticed before. For color, uh, actually for picture profile, I was using the EOS HD Pro Color. I went to a 2.36 to 1 more constrained, CinemaScope aspect ratio, and one of the shots, the one at 49 seconds, it's a wide shot, you see some vignetting in the corners, that's the FM lens at 50 millimeters, heavily stopped down. So there was a lot, a lot of vignetting, and I had to upscale the shot like 20% in all directions to get clear of some of it. Again, I went with the great João Gabriel Rodriguez for my original music, I've worked with him a bunch of times before, he never disappoints, he works fast, he works hard, and I can't recommend him enough. So if you need score, if you need original music for your project, reach out to him. His, the link for his website is on the video description. The goal of this test is to judge if the single focus solutions affects the narrative in a positive or negative fashion, or if even with its flaws, the variable strength diopter doesn't stand in the way of story. So. How was this experience for you? Were you just paying attention to what was happening? Or were you more into looking at bing editing, edge sharpness, flares? Uh, leave a comment. I want to know how you guys watch these tests. If you want to better judge each shot, you can visit the blog. There's a shot by shot list with all the camera settings and you can check which combination yielded your favorite shots. Lastly, if you like this type of test and subject, Subscribe to the channel right away and like this video. Even consider supporting me on Patreon. Times are hard for an anamorphic lens tester like me. And I need all the help that I can get. So think about it, make a pledge, and I'll see you next week. Chit Feathings out.